Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Mulholland Drive. Now, David Lynch. This is a weird movie. I, I honestly have to say, I definitely have to do a rewatch on this just to completely understand any all of it not all of it just mo like a couple of portions of it um so our cast is uh Naomi Watts Laura he uh Hearing Justin uh Three Lux uh, Joanna Bates uh Robert Forrester Brent Briscoe uh, Patrick Fleischer, like, there's some interesting people in this, um, I do know that this was originally supposed to be for TV, because it has that very TV feel to it, but then it was turned into a theatrical movie, uh, I, I really dug, like, everything, the girl going to Hollywood, gonna make him break it, but you have this sinister, weird cabal, which I hate saying that fucking word because it's so stupid, but I'll use it on this one, uh, propping up this one actress and then the director being like, no, and all this shit, but then he comes around because basically they're like, we're going to fucking kill you <laughs> if you don't. And... It's so, it's so weird. There's so much stuff. I mean, it opens with the car crash. Uh, Rita ends up, like, surviving the car crash. She was gonna get killed, I assume. And she ends up staying, uh, she ends up just walking into this house, laying on the floor, like, and, the, the, and then you meet the niece of the girl that is in the house, and, like, they're trying to piece together her past because she lost her memory but then they end up falling for each other and there's some passionate hot stuff in this damn movie but then there's a box that like sucks both of them in i i think well one just disappears but then the other one gets sucked in i kind of wonder if like Naomi Watts is kid like ran away and she got sucked in the bus I don't know but then you, the ant comes in and like nothing's there anymore like there was a lot of levels <laughs> on levels on levels and then when it's revealed Laura's Laura's character was actually gonna marry Adam uh Justin's uh Justin's character they were gonna get married but he ended up marrying or dating somebody who ends up cheating on him with Billy Ray Cyrus. And then the, the couple that Betty, Naomi Watts' character, they end up like being... This, is, this movie was, was so out there. Even I'm hard to uh, describe it. But some of the takeaways that I will take away one, this is kind of a hard story to follow. There is a lot of eh, eh, and eh. And, but when you start picking up the pieces, it's a very interesting story. And I, I really did dig. It's not, the only reason I knock it is because there's too many ins and outs of the story. Characters being introduced. The cowboy. Uh, this other hitman. And like, um, uh, Patrick Fleischer's character, Dan, he just winds up, he's just dead. He tells about this dream he had, and then the dream plays out, and then he just dies of, he just dies of, of being scared. And that's it. <laughs> like, it's, it, it just, I don't understand, I didn't, I didn't understand that part. It just makes no sense. Like, to me personally, <laughs> But I, I dig, I, this, this movie's so cool. It's, uh, 2000, 2001, which is still kind of a bridge from the 90s, so you got that very 90s look to it. 
uh, that very uh, 90s clothing, uh, which I didn't like 90s clothing. I only liked like uh, the Latino 90s clothing. Like I really did. I was really, <laughs> my sister had a bunch of friends that were Latin. And that's all I really paid attention. But I think 90s clothes were fucking stupid and ugly and just... And I noticed it coming back with kids nowadays. And I'm like, these outfits weren't cool back in the day. But I, I did I did dig this movie. It's a very interesting flick. But it, some of David Lynch's stuff just kind of goes over my head. And this was one that was on my list I really wanted to see. And it just kind of went over my head. I got to give it a second rewatch. But for what I did, here's what lies on my five-star review for it. It is a story of three and a half stars. Uh, the cinematography is really cool in it. I dug some of the, like, the, the film tricks and other stuff that they did. The characters were very cool characters. I definitely did. And I loved the design. I really did. Uh, which characters was a 4 and the design was 3.5, which brings the total to 3.75. Um, did you Do you like David Lynch? Uh, let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you seen Mulholland Falls and uh, Mulholland Drive? I keep saying Mulholland Falls. I want to see Mulholland Falls too. Have you seen uh, Mulholland Drive recently? Let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching this review. See you real soon.